After the nuclear disaster at TEPCO's power plant at Fukushima, the Japanese had huge cleanup problems. One was to remove radioactive substances from massive amounts of water. Experts said doing it efficiently was difficult. But a scientist from Egypt is well on his way to meeting the challenge. NHK World's Noriyuki Sakai reports. Professor Shalif El Safti works at the Research Institute in Tsukuba. The city lies north of Tokyo. The Egyptian scientist has developed a new substance that removes radioactive cesium from water. During the crisis, the nuclear plant at Fukushima produced massive quantities. I am introducing this technology for Fukushima and the people like these people who are sitting in Japan even now. This is where Shelif works, the National Institute for Materials Science. This is what Shelif developed. The powder plays a significant role in extracting radioactive materials from water. An expert in nanotechnology, Shelif is studying a material called HOM. The particles are invisible to the naked eye, as are its many holes, each about one millionth of a millimeter in diameter. Shelif developed a technology to separate cesium from other materials by having radioactive substance absorb into these holes. The HOM is added to cesium contaminated water. This magnet attracts these HOM particles holding the cesium. Easy separations. And you have a clean water, something. Shelif came to Japan 12 years ago after receiving his PhD. He was keen on researching the latest technology for treating water. That's because in his home country and the other African nations, Groundwater often contains arsenic, a toxic chemical. In Japan, he had been studying ways to remove it from water. In March 2011, the nuclear accident overwhelmed the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Shelif and his family fled Japan immediately at the instructions of the Egyptian government. But a few days after he arrived in Egypt, he received an email from his boss. What happened for Japanese friend, it will happen for us. What they are going to make it, we are going to make it. One week after the email, Shalif was back at work in Japan. Since then, He's been developing a new materials to extract radioactive contaminants from water. Within three months, Shalif developed new absorbents for radioactive iodine and strontium. <laughs> then he finished developing the new type of HOM. Now it was possible to remove cesium from water more efficiently. Until then, experts had considered the process very difficult. Japanese water treatment and chemical companies are showing a lot of interest in his method. This material seems to be highly effective. We are hoping to see how much further the process can be developed. I am in the middle of the actions, middle of the disasters, so I am like you guys all. And I hope it will be success to be finalized in the safe Fukushima and safe world. The nuclear accident changed Shelf's life. He says he now wants to do more research into technologies that solve Japan's environmental problems. Noriyuki Sakai, NHK World, Tsukuba City. Before Sheriff's method is used in the cleanup, he'll have to give a trial demonstration in the affected area. Then he'll have to work with chemical companies and the government.